hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important topic in power automate regarding time zones it's because microsoft power apps is built to manage users or customers located in different time zones it is very important to understand how to manage time zones with respect to date and time fields in power automate Here you see in my screen there are two users one user in indian time zone and another user is est time zone eastern time zone right now when they access power apps they will use their local time zone to create records for example there is a attendance for example this is a model driven app and here the entity is attendance and the attendance entity has entry time and exit time now when the user choose his local time zone he can change personalization settings time zone right so currently i have est time zone right so whatever data time that i, I will select that will be stored as local time zone yes time zone if i change change to indian time zone uh, using personal settings then it will store as indian time zone right so let me change the time zone and show you right so this way i can change the time zone and save it the point i just want to make here is in power apps multiple users with different time zones can create records using date and time field with their local time zone but if this is the case how power automate can handle this scenario because different people store different time zone date and time fields in same columns in one table right so there is a restriction that when the power automate will read this date and time fields created by multiple users with a different time zone it do not return the uh, local time zones or respective time zones of the users who created the records with their local date and time uh, date and time fields with that time zone it always returns the universal time zone in power automate that's why it is very important to convert the uh, date and time fields to corresponding users time zone value so that the date and time values can be manipulated correctly right so how you can do that let's say i want to write a uh, power automate which will read this entry time and exit time uh, date fields field values in my power automate and subtract the uh, exit uh, entry time from exit time to calculate total hours right so how we have to do that let us see so i have written a trigger here when a new attendance record is added then i have created two variables one is time zone code integer another is time zone name string and here i am retrieving user setting information for that current user because i want to current user means i am taking created by who created the attendance record if a user created attendance record that means he has uh, he has selected his own time zone so by taking the created own or created by user information i am getting the user setting where i can get the time zone current user's time zone right then what will happen once the user setting reads the time zone code um, i am setting the variable what is the code that is returning using the time zone code right that is returned from the previous step from the user settings then i am reading the time zone definition information related to the time zone code so that i will get the name of the time zone so this is the phase xml we are using entity time zone definition attribute standard name where time zone code equal to time zone code variable value so that at this point i will get the current user's time zone for a specific record right so for attendance record i will get the um, uh, get the current users or created by users time zone name then for each 
for each time zone uh, name i am assigning to this variable time zone name where i am assigning the standard name so at this point i will get the time zone of, time zone name of the current created by user of the attendance record right then i am using some steps here i am getting some approval rec record information for my business process then i am trying to convert the time zone why i am using convert time zone because normally the time that is retrieved in entry time is retrieved as utc so if you take this utc time zone then your uh, calculations and uh, uh, date and time field manipulation will be wrong incorrect so it is best practice that convert the utc time that is returning uh, for that date and time field and uh, it convert this to the UT, from utc time zone because normally it is returning as utc time zone coordinated universal time so we are converting from utc to custom value which custom value custom value means i am assigning the time zone name that is returned from this variable right so this is the variable that stores the current user's time zone that's why the entry time although it is returning utc time zone time format it is converting to local user's time zone right like that for exit time i am converting the exit time value to uh, uh, to current local time then here i am using a flow uh, using a step for approval to calculate the difference so that it is getting So here I am uh, using the uh, expression here where I am subtracting the exit time and entry time using division, subtraction and ticks method or expression so that it calculates the correct uh, difference between two days irrespective of the you know uh, uh, time zone of the current user. So when, when the email is sent uh, for approval the exact local time will be interpreted on the email in the approval and here you can see the entry time is exactly as per the uh, user entered with the local time and the exit time and the total difference right so this is how you can manage so important is whenever you are reading date and time field you have to get, first get the current users uh, local time uh, local time zone and using the time zone code you have to uh, process the data and time fields so thank you for your time i hope you understand and uh, you will implement this in your project thank you guys